Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to bring you one dividend stock that's down 49.4% that you might regret not buying on this dip. But before I reveal what this dividend stock is, I'll show you its dividend yield, its revenue, its cash flow, and its valuation, and then I'll let you know the name of this dividend stock. So let's get right into it. Starting with the dividend yield, the thing that you're probably most interested in if you're clicking on a video about dividend stocks. So this company offers a dividend yield of 3.2%. Now, I always caution investors when you're looking at dividend stocks, don't just look at the dividend yield. The dividend yield is just one part of the equation. You're also exposed to the changing stock price. If the stock price goes up, that's part of your total return. If the stock price goes down, that's also part of your total return. So it's not just the dividend yield that matters. The stock price matters too. That's why these next metrics we're going to look at are also critically important. The next thing I have shown here is this company's quarterly revenue growth going back 10 years. And I want to highlight two different things. OK, so let's look at the first part in the company's revenue growth leading up to the outbreak, right? Leading up to, to the pandemic. What you saw is the company growing revenue uh, pretty consistently in the low single digit range. Um, when I say pretty consistently, I mean like it wasn't uh, growing revenue at 30% and then back down to five, right? There is volatility in its numbers, but if you look at the overall number, it grew at low single, low to mid single digits for roughly the most part of the decade. And then you had the second part, which is after the pandemic, growth exploded for this company, right? Of course, that was partly because consumers in the U.S. had stimulus checks, lots of fiscal stimulus from the government, and its competitors were forced to shut its doors, and consumers were not allowed to eat out at restaurants or go to theme parks or movie theaters, so they had a lot more money, fewer places to spend. This company was a significant beneficiary of that trend so you see that big jump up to revenue growth around 25 24 percent which was unsustainable no investor um, no professional investor expected this kind of growth to persist and so this decrease in revenue growth back down to 0 0.6 percent was to be expected and should not be alarming i would reasonably expect this company to return to low single digit revenue growth over the next decade something around three to six percent revenue growth the next thing i wanted to highlight is the company's cash flow from operations to sales and again two things to note here number one is the nice growth in cash flow from operations to sales all the way up until the pandemic right even during the pandemic it was a prime beneficiary so you see that explosion there and then in the aftermath, in the economic reopening, the company struggled with cash flow from operations, mostly due to inventory that was built up during the pandemic. Remember, there was a bunch of supply chain shortages. So this company just said, you know what, let's just bring all our inventory from this year and next year. Let's just get it all at once and let's just bring it here just so we have it just in case if consumer demand stays the way it is, we can have something for them to sell. And even if even if consumer demand changes, this inventory is not perishable. We're not selling food for the most part, right? We're not selling fruit and vegetables that are going to go bad. These are things like consumer electronics, flat screen TVs, uh, PlayStation consoles and things like that. We can sell them even if at a slower rate, right? So that's what happened. Inventory built up and that caused cash flow from operations to fall. But look at here, it's rebounded again. It's rebounded again. As the company is now working through its inventory, it's not ordering new inventory. It's not ordering new stuff at the same rate, right? Barely. It's only ordering the very things on the margin, the perishable items, but the electronics and things like that, clothing, apparel, it's not ordering more. And so now it's rebounding. And so that's why I think it might be an excellent opportunity to come in here. And finally, look at the valuation. This stock is trading at a forward PE of 13.26, arguably the cheapest that it's been 
going back several years. So you get this stock, dividend stock, at a relatively good dividend yield of over 3%. Company that's expected to grow revenue mid single digits and its cash flow from operations is rebounding. What's the name of the company? This is Target. Target. Target is the dividend stock that I think you might regret not buying on this dip here. All right, that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.